Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say, come again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pensy if you're new and if you are not, hey guys, welcome back. So I'm redoing this whole little intro on this whole situation again because the hotel I was at yesterday was a no-go. I will insert photos here so you guys can see. But anyways, I'm at a new hotel. I don't know why the heck I didn't book this from the get-go. But anyways, but it's a beautiful, it's a newer hotel. Um, it's a Hilton property and I love, 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 love love the style and decor so it's a queen size bed it's given like very sexy and grown with like the burgundy tv over here i already have some of my things all over the place so please excuse it then i have my uh, teacups in here uh kettle there's also a coffee maker this is just a quick little view because like i just said i have shit everywhere uh, this is the armor. I think that's how you pronounce it. Armor. Very nice and sleek. Full length mirror. Like, come on. Hotels need to get with the program. Like, we all need a full length mirror. Here's my OOTD of the day, by the way. Cute. And then the bathroom, guys. Like, ooh. So it's a marble from top to bottom. Black and gray. Well, not black and gray, uh, white and gray. Rain shower head, love it. Guys, look at this lighting in here. Gorgeous. And toilet there, of course. Sink, and then what do they use here? It looks like their products, and that's the products here for the hotel. Pen, I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm gonna try. Oh, what's this right here? Lost Property. So this is the name of the hotel right here. Lost Property, St. Paul, London. Alrighty guys, well I'm about to try to attempt to find somewhere to eat because I'm starving. It's been a busy morning and then I need to also find a SIM card and then we're going to go ahead and see what London has to offer. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye! Hey guys, so I just found this restaurant. It's called Cafe Rouge. So I stopped here and I'm about to have some lunch because I am starving. It is currently 12.52 and I haven't eaten anything. So we're gonna do this today. I'm just put my glasses on because your girl's looking rough. But I think I wanna do this for set menu here. So you order like a starter with your main and then a dessert. So I think I'm gonna do the cranberry for the dessert. I'm looking at this Afro's chicken marinated in garlic. And then a garlic mushrooms for the starter. I'm not doing chicken liver and I don't want French onion. Uh, yes, um, so we can do this for lunchtime. Menu. Okay, uh, your garlic mushroom, so that's like on a bread, is what I'm getting. Uh, the, yeah, it's on the like, sourdough bread. Yeah. Sardo, yep, so I'm going to do that, please. And then uh, this right here. The demi poulet. Yep, demi poulet. Is it fries, sourdough, or fries? Uh, fries. Fries or fries? And then for dessert, I'll do the creme brulee. Creme brulee, no problem. Do you have any other cheese now? I know, man. I said no, ma'am, sorry. I haven't eaten. Would you like any juice or Uh, Can I start off with some? So I'm gonna wait to eat because I am starving. Also, the food's good. I've noticed a lot in Europe that they serve a lot of their entrees with like french fries instead of like mashed potato, rice, I don't know, baked potato or pasta. It's all french fries and like your protein. So far, the goes the red bus. I don't know if you guys caught a glimpse of it. But I will check in once my food gets here. Hi! Yeah, it looks, looks pretty much like a porn star martini. <laughs> hey, yeah, Prosecco. Yeah, Prosecco. Alright. Thank you so much. So I just ordered a passion fruit martini. That's the Prosecco to throw in there. I don't know if I should throw this in there or not. All right, guys, this is the appetizer, which is uh, mushrooms on a sourdough bread. Looks delicious. So let's see. Uh, yeah, how long for the next course? Uh, I can bring it right away. Okay, thank you. Yep. 
So I think. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, first set for you. What was that? Okay, first set. Okay, thank you. Ooh, got my. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, so I got some. The light in here. Thank you. Is there um? Is this all? What is this? <laughs> okay. So it's a chicken. So I just got my creme brulee and I'm about to taste it. Let's just see. Crack, crack, crack. Not bad. I don't know. I've had better though. This is where I just ate, guys, and now I'm headed. Well, I'm trying to find my damn SIM card, and the influencers that I follow from London, they're not lying about the crappy weather in London. Like, ah, why is it raining? Like in the Paris, it was raining, but it was like sunny in a way. Here it's just like cloudy, gloomy, and rainy. Yeah. So I'm hoping I can find a SIM card. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas round me, I and a guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. church because you're unable to film in there and I'm not Catholic so I'm not going in there to pray or anything um, do what they do I just want to check out like the sculptures you know the architecture within the church but I was unable to like film much I try to sneak one in but they are everywhere like looking so yeah impossible to do I just caught a shorty up Hey guys, so I just got back to the hotel and I was downstairs earlier talking with one of the management over there. Um, and I just happened to mention it's my birthday and look what I came back to. Is focus. I'm assuming this is gonna be a box of chocolate and uh, wine. I believe that's wine, that's wine. How sweet of that. Love, love, love. I. I'm absolutely glad that I left that other hotel. Again, guys, I'm a hotel snob. That's it is what it is. Like, it's not gonna change. So that was really so sweet and kind of management to send that. Hey guys, good morning. It is it's honestly 10 a.m. but I am freaking tired as heck. I woke up like around 3 a.m. and I couldn't go back to sleep, so then my ass was like watching or following the Eagles game because <laughs> you know we're in different time zones but anyways Eagles won 10 to 1 so we are 10 to 1 go Eagles but yeah so now I'm trying to run down to make it to breakfast because I get free breakfast and I never take advantage of these breakfasts when I go to the hotels that I stay at so I'm trying to make it down and run down get something really quick then get ready for the day and then I have this bus tour to start um this tour of London here so yeah I just threw this on this is honestly something that I wore the other day just threw this on to run down so let's go to breakfast hey guys so I officially made it on this bus tour and we are about to see what London has to offer but it is freezing up in here but I'm excited though so, just gonna flip the camera around.
Yeah, I better not drop this camera because that would suck. off the bus really quickly because uh, I want to do the uh, river cruise tour so uh, I think it's over this way uh, I think I'm going in the right direction oh guys but it's cold out here but it's so beautiful there's a huge castle right over here I didn't miss the exit or entrance for this river cruise tour, but ah, it's freezing. I forgot my gloves. Well, I didn't forget my glove. I couldn't find my other glove, so I just left it behind. But yeah. Cute spot here. Very cute. It's like an igloo. Hmm. Oh wow. See that London Bridge. So I have to wait until 1 p.m. for the boat tour, so I'm just taking some photos here and just looking around. The bridge is right behind me there. But yeah. Waiting in until one. And then from there we can hop up on this uh, boat tour and take a tour of, I guess, on the river of London. I'm not sure at the spots that they're gonna stop at, but that is what we're gonna do. Getting on this. Oh, is that what? So we made it on top of the boat tour. As you can see, there's the bridge. But your girl's about to be freezing here ASAP. Oh my gosh. But it has like that beautiful like view. The clouds are like pink and purple. <laughs> So we officially just got off of the boat and we are currently over at Westminster, I believe it's called. So I'm just gonna walk around a little bit more and then hop on another bus and then see where I end up towards the end of the day. But guys, it is, but it's freezing. I'm trying to thug it out, but I really wanna go back to the hotel and just chill at the spa all day. But let me flip the camera and show you guys. This is it. There is Cross Minister. Thank you.
Okay, so I just got off the Big Bus London and headed over uh, to see the Buckingham Palace. They said it's over straight down this way, so I don't know. I'm gonna walk and try to figure it out. So we are getting closer and closer to the Buckingham Palace. <sighs> Decided to drizzle a little bit. And of course I left my umbrella at the hotel because it wasn't supposed to rain today. <sighs> oh, this weather is bipolar. Lord, how far do I gotta walk because... <sighs> Guys, this weather is for the birds, and now my camera is beeping. So I'm gonna save the battery till I get to the Buckingham Palace, and then I will be heading back to the hotel. But guys, before that, I'll just have to vlog the rest of my phone. <laughs> See ya. So I'm currently vlogging on my phone now because my camera is dead, but there is the Buckingham Palace. Honestly, in person, it's not as grand as it looks like, you know, like on the movies or on TV. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm sure. I mean, it's a pretty huge palace. Um, but yeah, that is the Buckingham Palace. And then behind us, there's this monument and it's just like, you know, the loop around where they always drive around to then enter the palace. But yeah, it is pouring out, so I'm gonna make my way out of here and head back to the hotel because I'm hungry and cold and I've seen it time ago. And there's a lot of people, of course. So I just got dressed. Uh, it is my last full day um, in London. So I decided to just throw something on and I'm going to head to the restaurant downstairs. This is the OOTD. I don't know. I just threw some things on and this is what we're going to call it for today. Um, then tomorrow I have a late checkout. I'm going to continue to just do some more tours and then head back to Petty. So yeah, so I will see you guys downstairs at dinner. Bye. I just got here to the British Museum. I had to walk about 20 minutes because I was doing the hop off, hop on and hop off bus and the bus was taking way too long and today's my last day I'm checking it out so I'm just trying to get as much as I can cramped into one day. But I'm currently here. This thing is humongous. So that's the British Museum. And I'm just gonna probably try to spend at least one hour here and then head back to the hotel and head to the train station because I'm heading back to London, not London, Paris. Okay, so we are headed in. Not so many people come down here. Wow. I don't know how I feel about this. Y'all, tell me why in this huge, ginormous museum, they just have a little room down in the basement for the African section. That just tells you a lot about Europe. And I know before you guys said, why did you travel to Europe? Because that's on my bucket list. And there are areas that are beautiful. And I just love the history. But that's just crazy. One tiny little room. One tiny little room. I'll show you guys. Mm, mm, mm. Shake. 
back in my head. Your body, baby, so crazy. Love me, your body, baby. Get me what needs to me. I just wanna let you know. Oh, baby, day. You don't need no other body. You don't need no other body. Only you feel on my body. Yes, this is so cool. Like, this is back to the history of my home in the Caribbean where for carnival each year they always have like the Makajumbis and they have the history here about that. How cool is that? So it says Trinidad, but I guess that's where it's significantly originated from. But I mean, it's spread out through the entire Caribbean. And that is where we, that's Jumbi, but we call them Maka Jumbis back home. And that's so pretty cool. And this is just like the art that they have of that. just a few spots here um, I don't have too much time so I just wanted to check out like the African section um, what else all oh, like the Egypt and all of that jazz um, but yeah so this is the section that I checked out and I am gonna head out and head back over to the hotel and then after head to the train station so I'll see you later So your girl's officially leaving Europe. It's been an amazing trip. I had an awesome time, but it's time to get back to reality and back to the States. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs and I'll see you guys another time. Make a call, make a bong, 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 make a call, make a tea, but the bong, 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 your body, cook a hand, make a bong, 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 on the make that it's true. Uh, kilo fe, I'm a dead chugger dead, uh -huh. Fine, fine, no bugger dead, uh -huh. Watch your love for luck, like uh -huh. Why not more, more dead, uh -huh. Too bad, your body, chugger dead, uh -huh. Bush it in.